information for the tenant. This notice tells you that your landlord intends to begin proceedings for possession of the property identified in section two. You should read it carefully and seek advice about your circumstances as quickly as possible. So all of these parcels here were from last night's Whatnot show. 99 orders in total. Within the parcels, there is about 300 orders. So amazing, amazing stuff. And this is our second day that they're getting collected. So we've got now got Royal Mail collections for all of our Royal Mail business Whatnot parcels, which is amazing. Such a time saver than putting them in the little van out there and driving them across town. So that is an absolute lifesaver. Harry's been packing these all day long um, and got them all done just before the end of his shift. So yeah, 99 parcels out the door. They're ready to collect it in the next five minutes. If you are new to the channel, I'm John Luke. That there is Charlotte. And we sell all kinds of stuff on the internet. So Whatnot Shows, eBay, and Vinted Pro as well, because that is now officially out. So yeah, in today's vlog, we're just going to be going over what's been happening this week, what's been selling, what's been going on. And um, yeah, a bit of a catch up. We have got a million, million parcels with new in stock coming in. The Royal Mail ladies just arrived. So these are on their way out. So Charlotte's just been packing some of our eBay orders. So we've got some wallpaper, free sat box, butterfly Tiffany style lamp, and for like 40 quid, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We just sold a light shade as well. It just sold yeah. for 30 pounds. And then a few other bits, Halloween costumes and various this, stuff. This is a Charlotte special, that's a John Luke special. Yeah, that is our expertise right there. Shame about this one, the hard drive was broken on it. If you get a working one, you know, you're talking 140, 150. Um, but it's sold within like an hour. Spares and pairs for 70 quid. No offers. Someone will just get it and fix it up. You know what I mean? I know you can send them into FreeSat, but for a replacement hard drive, it's like 60 quid. So, um, yeah, I think it must be a very well-known error. Someone probably does it at home, fixes them up, makes 40, 50 quid. But I'm happy to just get that in and get it out. Sold the same day I bought it, so 70 quid out the door. So just one of these is sold. Off to London for thirty pounds. You paid two fifty, didn't you? Yeah. On the Beautiful shop floor. on the shop floor of a charity shop. So yeah, Royal Mail's gone. We'll get that door shut. So all we do now is pop all the smaller parcels in these bags, zip tie them up, and then they get collected Monday to Friday every day. Our landlords upstairs supply us with some free packing paper. So that's good. I'm gonna have to drag that into the back. Get that in the back. Yep. That can live there. That's ready to pack. The best void sale for free. Yeah. And we get all these boxes for free from upstairs as well. So we've got about 100 there and there's loads down there as well. It's a constant supply of boxes, isn't it? Amazing. Yeah. So that's handy. We, did, we still buy a lot of boxes. We go through a lot. But um, where we can save money and recycle stuff. And because we're getting our parcels collected now, we don't have as much use for these ones. We used to use absolutely tons of these. We'd take six of these in the van most days leave them at the shop and then pick them up the day after. So what if we've got three, four, five, six there. Yeah, but every standard now, probably like one to two. eBay and Vintage will probably use one or two of those boxes at most. So it's nice to get um, get some of those back we can use for storage. Update on this beauty section. I've just ordered another 20 of these off eBay. What we're going to do is we're going to have, we're going to spin these round a little bit. I'm going to have them back to back. So you're gonna have like five there, five there, five there. And then on this side, you'll have five, five, five. And then same again on the big racks, we're gonna get, I've just ordered more of these blue ones. Just a more efficient way of storing it. Instead of being very meticulous with how we like putting them on the shelves, just have these tubs. And it just makes the processes super simple. Picked this bad boy up yesterday. Miller Lite NASCAR jacket. It is absolutely mint condition. Size XL, like vintage one as well. Russell, Rusty Wallace, number two. Check that out, that's a beast. And then I listed these yesterday. So we've got some vintage Star, Star not Star Wars, Star Trek tees. Um, all in really good sizes, all brand new. We had them brand new in the bag. They just had a bit of a smell to them. So we took them out of the bags, gave them a wash. But they're literally all from like year 99 up to like 2003. Some sick, sick tees. So that's the kind of stuff that's been going on. The, um, the store at the minute, just all sorts of stuff. All sorts of bits and pieces. We had some uh, fall, is it fall raven? How you say it? With the FJJ, FJA double L raven, fall raven, the Swedish brand. We had a couple pair of trousers uh, by them, sold like that. We had a jumper off them and a shirt sold like that. Super fast seller. 
Right, so there's the Tiffany, there's the lamp there. These are a few of the other sales been coming in. Some bits and pieces that we're about to pack. There's the Fall Raven trousers. We sold two more Capiz. Is it Capiz, Sha? Capi. Capi, we're not sure. Uh, we sold them yesterday. Just some really nice bits on the way out. Ticking over. We had a bit of a clearance, that's why a lot of stuff is like 12 quid and below. So, yeah. Happy days, happy days. And then we've got our Vinted as well, which is the Pro now. So it's got all our business identity on there. It's Pro, that's our username if you wanted to have a search up. Um, we can't change it while there's orders open, so we're just keeping it as is for now. But lots of stuff been selling on here. Um, if, it, if it focuses, there we go. So lots of bits and pieces. Rab trousers, there's another four even trousers, four even shirt, and then a four even jumper just a bit further down. There's the... Uh, there you go. So really, really nice bits and really, really strong sales on Vinted. Um, that's a DPD order. That's why it's not been sent yet. I hate the way it sells on some other platform. You're on Vinted. We've turned off Royal Mail now because you've got to sort your own labels out. It's a bit of a nightmare. So that's my job in a minute. I'm just going to get all them Vinted orders done as well as the few little eBay bits and pieces. And then I'm going to get some listings done as well. So mind the carpet. We're actually planning on getting it professionally cleaned. Shout out to whoever it was on the last video who said... Why don't you just get it cleaned? Because we got quoted like five grand for a new carpet. Very good idea. We're going to get it cleaned. Um, this is some of the new lines that have literally just arrived uh, today. Apart from the Udi sets, most of this has arrived today. So lots of new lines coming in for our beauty shows. Lots of new Esper pieces, Beautopia, Udi, Revolution, uh, Retinols. We've got some Pericone MD. This is the plasma. This is so expensive, this serum. Lots of goodies coming in every single day. So that's what we've kind of... That's the big job on the horizon to get this over here. We've got more racks on the way, more buckets on the way. Um, we've got a big beauty show tomorrow, Saturday, because our beauty shows are Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So we had one last night. We've got today off the shows, and then we've got a big one Saturday. So we're going to get all this prepped for tomorrow night's show for Harry to then come in on Monday, pack it, and then the Royal Mail lady, lady to get it Monday evening. So it's a constant cycle. It's Q4, and we're, um, we're very, very motivated. Um, but yeah, we've got so many lines in, we don't get anywhere near through them all during the show, each show, so that's why it's nice, to, the more lines we get in, the more unique the shows are, so like some days you, you won't see certain products that you'd see on another day, so yeah, this is only just getting started as well. So out there is obviously the loose products, and then back here we'll be putting the boxes of products, it's like the overspill, it's like in there is collagen, for example. In there is milky cleansers, example. So once we run out, out there, we can just transfer it out. I'm gonna take these raw metal bags and plonk them in the back somewhere. Stick them in this corner. It's not the tidiest, but it works for the time being. I think we've sold about 30 advent calendars now, so we've got about 66 left, something like that. So they're going down very fast. We've still got the rest of October and all of November to shift them. They've been trickling on eBay. We've not tried them on Vinted yet. And we've been doing a couple of show and whatnot as well. So, yeah, fingers crossed we can get through the most of them before the Advent, Christmas, December period starts. So, that's all good. People think it's easy what we do, though. It's not. We literally got home last night at 2 a.m. So, we was on show from 7 till midnight. Then we had dinner here, left at 1, got home at like quarter to 2. And then, you know, you just collapse in bed. So, it's hard graph. We work really hard. But we love what we do as well, so... It's, um, we make it, it makes it all worth it. So the title of the video refers to this. And this was stuck on our door a couple weeks ago and I've been meaning to talk about it. Because I got in work, good vibes, feeling good. And then I say, I, you know when you see red writing on a letter, it's not good, it's not good. I've had it a few times in my life and it's not good, it's not good. Um, notice of intention to begin proceedings for possession of property in England let on an insured tenancy on an assured agricultural occupancy form number three. Housing Act 1988 section eight as amended. Information for the tenant. This notice tells you that your landlord intends to begin proceedings for possession of the property identified in section two. You should read it carefully and seek advice about your circumstances as quickly as possible. So I'm thinking, oh my God. Oh my God. It's not good. To John Luke, your landlord license uh, intends to apply to the court for an order requiring you give up possession of Jolly Industries Limited 
and then it goes on to say our address, which is everywhere anyway. Um, your landlord license intends to seek possession on grounds 12, 13 and 14 in Schedule 2 to the Housing Act 1988, as amended, which read. And then it goes on with all the grounds that we are getting booted out the premises with. Um, at this point, once you read the first three paragraphs, you don't even want to read the rest. You're just like, what? Well, I say that straight up to our landlord. Yeah, Charlotte says, let's just go and see our landlord. Like, this is crazy. What the hell? What the hell? Because this is a, a big, it's like a multi-million pound building. The, the business upstairs owns all the units. Um, you know, they're turning over millions of pounds every year. So the, land, the lady upstairs isn't the landlord landlord. Like, they, they're in London. So I don't know if it's just, you know what I mean, they're just like, they just want to kick everyone out of the units like from London or something. I don't know. You just don't know your circumstances sometimes, yeah. Anyway, uh, ground 12, any obligation of the tenancies other than one related to payment rent has been broken or not performed. We do pay our rent on time, earlier sometimes. Ground 13, um, the condition of the dwelling house or any of the common parts have deteriorated, deteriorated owing to acts of waste by or neglect or, de or default of the tenant or any other person residing in the dwelling house, and in, in this case of an act of waste by or neglect or default by, a person lodging with the tenant or a subtenant of his has not taken such, such steps as he has all... Res this is really well written because I can't bloody read it. Do you know what I mean? Um, reasonably to have taken for the removal of the lodger or subtenant for the purpose of the ground, common parts means any part of the building compromising the dwelling house and any other premises which the tenant is entitled under the terms of tenancy to use in common with occupiers of the dwelling. Honestly, you, you just spin your head, don't it? It's a lot of big words. Yeah. You're in panic mode, so you're yeah. Not my heart's racing. Thing. It's like, you know what I mean? Pre panic attack at this point. Ground 14. The tenant or person residing in or visiting the dwelling house. I don't. What is the dwelling house? I don't know. It sounds like I don't know. Let me just Google it. Pub. Dwelling house. I don't even know. I read the first red bit, and that was me sent under. I had my coat on, ready to go upstairs. Right. It just means the part of the building that is used as residence, as opposed to store, office. Basically, when someone's living in a premises, right. it's like if we lived here, right. that'd be against the law, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, ground twelve. Moreover, the conditions of the toilet has become unacceptable. It has strong odor that is causing discomfort to others. With some employees, we only have one employee. <laughs> Ever, even reporting that their eyes are watering on the factory floor. Furthermore, the sewage pipe is fully blocked with a significant obstruction, which requires immediate attention. Ground 13. It has, become, it has come to our attention that the property has been maintained in a poor state. Specifically, the flooring is damaged and pallets and other items have been left outside, contributing to an unsafe and unkept environment. These issues not only violate the terms of your lease, but also compromise the overall integrity of the property. We have pallets outside as well. So it's like proper like sending me under, do you know what I mean? Yeah. The toilet bit, I knew it was something was happening at this point. No, that please last strange, but you were still convinced. Additionally, it has been reported that you have been legging it around the car park, which is located on an industrial site. This behaviour poses safety risks, not only to yourself, but also to others on the premises. It is only appropriate to be doing this in skimpy shorts. So I do jogs like after work and stuff, do you know what I mean? And it says, 26th of September, signed by B. Dover, Mr. Ben Dover from Penn Island. Yeah, you guessed it. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a very sick and twisted joke by Mr. Stacey Channing from Channing's Independent Traders Next Door. Um, I was like close to a complete breakdown here. Yeah, the floor. it was honestly. Like all the um, Advent calendars just arrived. So I was like, yes, buzzing, like well excited because he came earlier than expected. And then I went and looked on the door and went, what the hell is that? Well, as soon as you see red capitals, it's not good. Even when I saw the B Dover, I thought that was like the manager who's overseeing kicking us out. I didn't even clock what yeah. he meant. Mr. Bend over. Um, <laughs> so Stacey and Connor next door, they thought it'd be a really funny joke. They were spending their whole morning on working. Google, instead of working on Google, copying one of these, changing the letters to red, and adding loads of different things in. And putting it in a plastic and wallet. And putting it in a plastic wallet. Sticking it on the door. Like an actual end of notice. Yeah. So if you're watching this, go over Channing's, go over to the Recovered Riches on YouTube and say, we're getting you back. We are coming for you. That sounded weird. But um, yeah. How about that? That's what I have to deal with on a daily basis. Stacey and Connor next door 
are threats to humanity. They are. Obviously, it is just a joke. No harm done. Me and Stacey joke with each other every day. Um, so yeah, no, um, no feelings was hurt during the making of this joke. But um, honestly, my heart was on strings. It's on strings. So if you didn't know, this is Stacey, Recovered Riches on YouTube. He lives next door. He doesn't live next door, but this is his, this is his place. He, he looks just like that. Please ring the bell. Let's speak to him. Get his, get his thoughts. Get his thoughts on it. He's too scared. Too scared to come on camera. Another little update as well. We just doubled our bin size, so that should be arriving next week. We fill this up so, so quick. I think it's... The new one's going to be 1,100 litres, so yeah, we double that size, which would be handy. So over on this crazy bit of unlisted stock, which we're going to get sorted, Charlotte's listing some Zara perfume, and we've got just all kinds of randomness over here. I actually found this dude with a couple of jelly cats the other day in the charity shop. There's my little desk that I've not got anything set up on yet, but a little update on the, uh, the old jelly cat collection. We found this devilish egg in the charity shop the other day so he's part of the team he had his tags on so we can keep him there was a squirrel as well that we found that day we sold it on whatnot for 20 quid um the same day which is great so this is an update on the collection since you last saw us we got this big man it's the uh azure bunny something like that 25 years we had a couple land from vinted mince pie gingerbread man and the hot chocolate let me get zoomed in a little bit so you can see them. There we go. The whole squad's there. The whole squad. We're a little bit addicted, guys. We're a little bit addicted. But it, it makes us happy. I saw these boxes I was on about. So they're bigger than a small parcel, about a medium parcel size, all those. So we just get all them for free, which is really, really, really handy. Um, apart from that, not a lot's changed in the back here. We've not tackled a lot of stuff yet. Because it's just been so full on. So full on, but... It's constantly evolving, this place. Um, I don't think it'll ever be finished. Um, yeah, let me know what, what you think we should do and what you think we should change or what you think we should add because, you know, we don't know all the answers. Literally, someone said, why don't you just get the carpet cleaned? That makes a lot of sense. Some new little random bits on here, though. Avengers, toothbrushes, got some sketches, Adidas. We did a big shoe show the other day. Had those on New Balance in and stuff, so they've all gone. Been and gone since even the last video, so... Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on, get the rest of this packed, get out of the door. It's Friday night, we want to go and chill. So we're going to go for a shop and get ourselves tucked up into bed and have a nice fresh weekend. I did just want to do one massive shout out before we close the video out though. Because there is a very special man on Whatnot who sells a lot of Lego. So if you need your Lego and you're on Whatnot, go and see O'Brien. So O'Brien, big legend, follower of my channel, I'm a follower of his channel. But he is just such a legend. He adds loads of extras in my parcel. The, uh, the notes here, actually. I've had two big parcels off him recently. Appreciate you and Sir always stopping by. I put you both some extras in. Um, I know you will both enjoy. P.S. We're all waiting for your next LEGO streams. I hope some of these help. So, yeah, we're going to be planning a LEGO stream very soon. We're just trying to accumulate a good bit of stock. Just so it's like a, a good show. I want it to be a good show. That's the beans going in my collection. For show. Sure. Um, the Nexo Knight is definitely going in my collection. The red cards. So I got a big loads of these cards, but in the red packet. And he sent the red book. So they're going to our nephew. And he's going to fill up the book and stuff, which is amazing. Um, but there's so much cool stuff that he's added. The actual set of bots in the uh, the room over there. But uh, still no update on the Lego situation. But um, yeah, it is what it is. But how can, hi, can, how can I? I just want to say, go and check him out. If you go and check him out, I'll what not show. Go and check out O'Brien as well. They are, both him and his partner, honestly, amazing people. Amazing people. They smash it. They work very hard and um, they deserve every success that they have. But before we do leave, we've got to do our workout. So me and Charlotte are on a training plan. I am down about eight kilograms now, which is crazy, courtesy of Ayrton Taylor Fitness on screen right there. Um, I'm on 1,800 calories. She's on about 1,650 calories a day. And we've been training three, four, five times a week getting into shape so we've got a training session and then we can go to to the shop and get chilled for the night but we've got to make sure we get our gains in as well uh really really impressed if you want to go check out Ayrton give him a dm and dm on instagram his links will be down in the description dm him the word john or john luke something like that let him know i've sent you 
and I think you get 15% off his plans, anything that he does, 15% off forever. So if you wanted to get on board with the team um, and join the group, join us, man, join us. Um, I know Ricky's part of the crew as well, so me, Ricky and Charlotte are in there. If you want to come and join us, Ayrton Taylor Fitness. He'll do your plans, he'll do your training, tailor that around you. Obviously, Charlotte's got a lot of health problems. She's been in and out of surgeries and hospital for years and years. So really, really tailored to you, which is the main thing. But uh, yeah, I've got to get my session in now. I've got a chest, a bit of a push session. So push session. So yeah, let's do it. On that note, without further ado, though, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you did enjoy today's vlog. I know it wasn't anything crazy, crazy. Next week, I'm planning to vlog all my weekdays. So at the end of the week, you'll have like a week in the life kind of thing so yeah hope hope that's something that you want to look forward to and you're going to enjoy um but yeah in the meantime if you don't follow us on whatnot go and check it out if you're not on there there's a link down below you get a free 10 pounds to spend so have a look at that um even if you don't want to shop with us there's so many great people on there where you can get bargains i like honestly stuff to sell yourself or just stuff for yourself it's like vinted but live um you're gonna get bargains 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 um, but yeah, if you want to check out our Vinted Pro, it will be linked down below. Get your, you know, if you ever see anything you like, it'll probably be on Vinted or eBay. It's all linked down below. Uh, but really do appreciate all you guys' support. I'm glad that we're back making videos again, and I hope you are too. We'll see you next week. Peace.